Hey guys, I wanted to share some of my thoughts about that neat poem that's in the learning map for first grade this week. I like it when it's misly. I really had fun writing that word misly. That is a fun word that I'm going to try and use more often. Misly is a nonsense word, right? If you were watching the video with the poem, you would probably pick up on a lot of hints about what the author is intending the word misly to mean because of the um, the setting and the video and the sounds you might pick up on some clues that have to do with kind of a rainy day. I wrote down some words. I listened to it three times and I wrote down some words just to help me figure out what I think it means. The first two words I wrote down were mist and drizzle. So a mist, I know that if there's a mist, there's a little tiny bit of rain. Maybe if there's a mist, there's some steam coming off of the road. A mist is something we might see early in the morning, especially on a summer day when it's hot and there's a little bit of rain. There's kind of a mist. Or if you're out at the beach and there's a little bit of rain far off, you see a mist. I think that the word misly is mist and drizzle put together. Sometimes when we can't go out for outdoor recess, it's because it's drizzling. There's a little drizzle. It's not raining very hard, but the rain, it's coming down. It's drizzling. Then I was thinking drizzling, and I think she starts to say the word frizzly when it's drizzling. I know a lot of girls and maybe guys can relate too. My hair gets a frizz to it. So it gets big and puffy. And the last word I wrote down was foggy. The, the author of the poem talks about a foggy day and I think she talks about things looking froggy too. Um, foggy, we've talked about this word a lot in class before. It's a good descriptive word. It's when there could be some rain or maybe just it's a dark foggy day and it's hard to see, right? Um, so the things that mist and drizzle and foggy all have in common are things are a little bit harder to see. And I believe the author of the poem says things look far away. So that poem is short, but they, the author does a great job of talking about a normal rainy day, but putting it into very descriptive language and vocabulary and thinking of it in a different way. So I hope you guys enjoyed that poem. I know I did. And I can't wait to see you guys again. And I would love to read some more poems with you guys. See ya.